Chief Minister Biren says the center has suggested state government to explore and develop natural gases found in Manipur. Minister Karam Sham wants stern action against those responsible for scarcity of LPG in the state. Manipur observes the 17th Integrity and Solidarity Day. Professor Nabakumar urges people of all communities to face issues in the state together. Inclement weather hit devotees. Unlike the past years, Yangtang Larembi Temple witnesses thin crowd. And Rosie Chanu, who has been selected to represent India in the Tanta World Karate Championship in Spain, appeals for financial help. Hello and welcome to Impact News. You're watching Primetime English News. I'm Joyce Shubusham with the top stories and latest news at this hour. Chief Minister Nongtongbom Biren today launched the Credit Linkage Program under Manipur State Cooperative Bank Limited (MSCB). The Chief Minister also distributed more than rupees two crore (25 lakh) as loans to 642 loanees under four schemes of the program. Speaking at the launch of the program, the Chief Minister said the Petroleum Minister gave a hint to the state government that it should explore and develop the natural gases found in the state on its own after he asked the centre to connect a natural gas pipeline from Guwahati as there is frequent landslide and blockade on the national highway. He said the government has introduced various schemes and programmes for the welfare of the poorer section of the society. The government will deposit money to those banks which will take initiative to help the poor. Forest Minister T. H. Shyamkumar, Social Welfare Minister Nemcha Kibgen along with MSCB and NABAD officials attended the function held at MSCB office at All Assembly Road. The 642 loanees were availed loans under Kisan Credit Card, IMA Credit Card, Pigri Financing under NABAD's Area Development Scheme and Dairy Value Chain Financing. The MSCB donated a sum of rupees 1 lakh to the Chief Minister's Relief Fund. The Puradika Pushyam no gas bag in the corner of the Sangha that was sent on the afternoon. Still, we have a gas in the corner. We get on the road here, machine go. Yami. The high to gas here, but I don't talk on that. I think it's the efficient way of the Sindarakata. Are you able to have a father? How do you have a little bit of 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 a State Cooperative Bank will be there. Any bank will be there. Nationalized bank will be there. Because I want to change the book. I don't know. 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 Chief Minister Nong Thongbun Biren disclosed that the President of India, Ram Nath Kovin, will open the biggest tourist tourism festival of the state, Manipur Sangai Festival 2017 in November. The Chief Minister disclosed this at the launch of the credit linkage program at MSCB office. Biren further said, the Sangai Festival 2017 will not only be inaugurated by the President of India, but 15 ambassadors of developed countries like United Kingdom, USA, etc. will be sent invites to take part in the summit to be held during the state festival. The chief minister asserted that lying idle will do no good for the, for the state. The state should be open to foreign investment, to have industries promote tourism, to, to enhance the economy, etc. 
The Chief Minister also announced that by the first week of October, efforts will be made to distribute loans to the differently abled persons as well as to increase pension amounts. He said the new project will aim at providing loans at subsidized rates to disabled persons who are not able to take up jobs and monthly pensions of around 2,000 to 3,000 rupees to the critically disabled persons. Chief Minister Biren urged the public and banks to cooperate in such welfare activities of the government. President Lapun, the Mr. Samitama Dominic, Matari Pumatu, the Lapani Pumatu, which stayed away morning from Taramatu Barola, the Samitama Dominic, but stayed away. Mapan the E. Investor Pashat Hadabon over the world. Industry is been the Pumon over the world. Tourism sector is separate from over the world. Mayam Sequi, Unabatavan, Nangabatavan, Korpatavan. Nothing of which I just can't tell up the owners from there. There was two years in the Royal Road. Can't tell up the owners from there, they look up Karin over the people. Investment of the whole of the Puy Lady, but in the hand is in the country. At least, like a ambassador, Tara Kama, we might option and the other. Consumer Affairs, Food and Public Distribution Minister Karam Sham has categorically stated that the government has not deprived the MLAs of the state of their rights. The minister clarified that the kerosene quota for the MLAs are provided as per the allocation of the central government. Speaking to media persons at his official residence in Sanjen Thong today, the minister also clarified that there is no bill passed by the Manipur Legislative Assembly entitling MLAs of kerosene. He said the allegations uh, leveled by Congress spokesperson Kumukcham Joy Kishan against the government is unfounded and baseless. The minister said the present government has increased the quantity of kerosene provided by the director pool for the MLAs. Karam Sham said the government has been providing not less than 2,500 litres of kerosene as MLAs quota. He claimed that the present government has also cleared the backlog of the previous government for four months by allocating 12 kiloliter of kerosene. The minister maintains that the government is taking measures to improve LPG supply in view of Ningol Chakoba. He asserted that stern action will be taken against those responsible for scarcity of LPG in the state. He said if needed, he will consult with the chief minister and take up the matter with the Union Minister of, of uh, Petroleum and Natural Gas and IOC. Even Matamamata, Congress ki Sarkar ki Matamda, 5,292. Pangba 2.72 Piramaji, Congress ki Matamda, Piramabane. Aduga quantity is 100 of Matam Sida, he who is 2,000 point five to hang at Pane. 3,000, 3,000 big and a high was he, Matam Matam Dugi, Bar Sarkar and Pirakwa, the quantity to give Matu in a fluctuation labani, Aduga Masi Sarkarna, the Akwe Lipaga. MLA da asu piga da mani haiba laite politics da yamna immature man ba misakna party ki spokesperson oi bai se adi laipa ki oi na yamna laibok thi bani now, uh, reacting to the CAF and PD Minister Karam Sham that the kerosene quota for the MLAs are provided per the allocation of the central government, Thangmaiban MLA Kumukcham Joy Kishan clarified that he does not want additional amount of kerosene. He demanded kerosene as per an order of the 20th Amendment Act 2014 of State Assembly. Speaking to media persons, Joy Kishan said it is surprising that the minister said there is no bill passed by the Manipur Legislative Assembly entitling MLAs of kerosene. He also said it is shame that Mahud Minister T. H. Shamkumar had announced that plenty of kerosene is available in Andhra. Joy Kishan said he does not need kerosene from that allocation. Assembly Secretary Nathopa order se khangda bagira natraga prajamiyam gi mamangda ikai khangda gi lale hai ribra hai ba dhoma action na khangpam thui. Honorable Minister na masi ayi ba laite haraga di akho gi ji Tepan Kumar Sharma Deputy Secretary Administration thui ba order se lale hai do ribra. Chi ya da na 3000 ni raga 2500 ni haraga di lai riba sarka asi na chana riba lo ayin se ngatre hai ba ne. Tanjang sih tak kerum kang dah benda, kau ini Sri Sham Kumar na antro ada thau lem lagi kerusin paham ni terlak ke hai benda. Antro ini sakthung kau ini paham de, thamu ini bencan. Jadi antro ini yang dah usah kau ini antro ini pasak kerusin pangdapat sing tu yang hendiu.
Rural Development and Panchayati Raj Minister Thongam Biswajit yesterday instructed Deputy Commissioners of all districts to complete the verification of beneficiary list of the Pradhan Mantri Avas Yojana Gramin and initiate transfer of the first installment by the end of this month. He gave the instruction during a meeting at his new Secretariat Office Conference Hall regarding implementation of the scheme in the state. The meeting was attended by all DCs and BDOs. He stressed the co coordination between the DCs, BDOs and the minister is necessary for successful implementation of the scheme. Manipur today observed the 17th uh, and Integrity and Solidarity Day, Apunba Manipur Kanba Imalup, and the National Identity Protection Council jointly organized the observance at Lamyanba Shanglen Palace Compound. Speaking at the event, a professor of anthropology, Manipur University, Professor W. Nabakumar said, It is high time people of different communities living in Manipur face the issues of the state together rather than facing the issues separately. He said, People's movements on certain issues remain ineffective as people do not join hands hands in fighting the issues. Representatives of Kuki Women Union Manipur, Haumi Research Guild, Aimol Tribe Union, Chiru Union Northeast, Indigenous Minorities Organization, Manipur Muslim Online Forum and many organizations of the hills and valley attended the event. It may be recalled that people of different ethnic groups gathered and took the largest rally, Bog Rally in South Asia on this day in 2000 against the extension of ceasefire agreements between Government of India and NSE and IM in the state. Civil societies in the aims and the objectives can never come to the Mapua and the Mana of the number of oil. Lord, we can never come to the group, we can never come to the man, we can never come to the a quick Punamaki would be issues that Punda can never be Matama. The family members of a minor who was allegedly raped demanded speedy justice for their daughter. During a press meet held at Manpur Press Club today, they said an FIR was registered at Porampad Women Police on August 25, but the case made no progress and the accused is roaming freely. They alleged that the accused, Muhammad Arafat Ali, alias Mada Khan, 35 years from Kergaon Yumkai Bumlekai, even claimed that the rape charge against him is not relevant as the girl had already eloped before with a man. The victim and family appeals to all authorities concerned to immediately look into the matter. It may be recalled that the minor girl was allegedly raped uh, twice by the accused while she was uh, taking refuge at his home during the recent flood. The accused uh, threatened to kill the victim if she told anyone about the incident. As I crime to river music, Fabra, Favide, Amaka, Dobra, Tobide, Human Commission, Zukarim, Pikata, and Lady. Interim Pike Redup, Togreda, Togreena. I do high Ragana Mohoin on Salaga, Nupimasa is the blame when a toxin bire. Mohoina, Nipako in a valley put Tokani, I do put Tokongam de Mohoi, Kazupabuda. Chilure, kind of high blame, ma'am, toxin bireva. Put Tokani Haga, a duput over Hangozo, put Tok take him to carry him, put him polite to Ozipo. I don't like going a hiding you for say. A team of patriotic writers from Manipur has reached Bangladesh in connection with the month long memorial observance of Lamyan Bahijam Irawat from the 1st of this month in that country. The team, led by patron member of patriotic writers from Manipur, Dr. S. Manauton, was received in Bangladesh by Manipuris, led by President of Integrated Manipuri Association, IMA, Bangladesh. Khoirom Indrajit. Khoirom Indrajit expressed the hope that the visit will not only promote the relationship between the Manipuris living in the two countries, but give a boost to the cultural and literary exchange between the two countries. Tributes will be offered at the statue of Lamyanba Hijamiravad, erected at Bhanubil as part of the journey taken to honor the freedom fighter where his statue has been installed. They will continue their journey on October 1 and 2.
The 121st birth anniversary of Lamyan Bahi Jamirawat is being celebrated in various places in and outside the state. Saitya Seva Samiti Manipur Kakching organized a literary meet Hijam Irawat Ningsing Khoiro Thauram at Library and Information Center in Kakching, Pausu Patlekai, Kakching District today. A book entitled The Historical Background of Kakching, written by Dr. Nomaitem Pramodini, was also released at the event. Poetry recitation competition was held for students of class 9 to 12 on Lamyan Bahijam Irabat. Staff of Food Corporation of India, FCI, District Office Imphal, conducted a social service camp today as part of the cleanliness campaign Swachtahi Seva, held from September 15 to October 2, initiated under Prime Minister Narendra Modi. Officials and staff of FCI District Office Imphal cleansed the areas near the statue of Hizam Iravat in Moirangkom and Yai School Police Lane. Area manager of the district office, Aningtaujam Nandakishor said, a painting competition and an awareness program on cleanliness for students as part of the cleanliness campaign was also held. Sayo ani chup na palan tawe, masigi palan sigi matungi na koy na sigi hizam. Irabot ki state chuda ki horaga FC ki office mamang power ga MDU hall mamang ki high school ki area si zakoi na luna na singdo ki thabak si masi paket sabani masi je is a part of koi ki clean India of swasti seva hai ba koi ki Prime Minister ne na modi ki magi agenda to ki makada or the dreams of Mahatma Gandhi ki makada tok jawa dukum ba koi ki cleanliness program ne. Due to inclement weather, the Hyang Thang Larimbi Temple today witnessed a thin crowd of devotees unlike the past years. Devotees from different parts of the state thronged the Hyang Thang Temple located at Hyang Thang under Imphal West District on the occasion of Durga Ashtami today. Even though the crowd was comparatively less, a large number of Manipur police and IRB personnel maintained a strict vigil to prevent untoward incidents. Like the previous years, a number of stalls were opened on both sides of the road, selling various items including handicraft products. General Secretary of Yang Tang Larimbi Development Seva Committee, M. Jugendro said, the main event of the day, Sandhi Puja, will be performed in the evening from 7.05 and 42 seconds and end at 7.53 and 43 seconds. He predicted that for this year, Goddess Durga will, will arrive in the Hiren and return on the Sayang Thug horse. Jugendro maintains that there may be flood in the state and changes in the government. However, the people will not face grievous inconveniences. Medical Directorate also opened a medical camp on the occasion. Stall vendors stated that the inclement weather reduced the number of visitors, thereby affecting their sales. Imana handak lengbi ra isi na he da lengo pani sakhi bana sagun da sapani. Adu na he da lengo pasi mayam na som thaja na bda ising chawi hai he tha number se. Adu ka sagun da sakhi pasi na koi na Irang je kara nemda ka nena. Ima Lai Shem Inat Loisang Ilil also celebrated the rituals on the fourth day of Mera at the residence of Tokchom Sayonba Lai Fomlen Asupa near Thangapat Wangma Palace Compound. The ritual is performed every year to bring peace and tranquility among the people with an offering of Kwak Lai, Kong Nu Mai Lai, Maite Taro Angangba and other such flowers. It's time for a small commercial break. We'll be back in a short while with more news updates. Keep watching Impact News. Welcome back. You're watching Primetime English News. 
Palel police in their drive against intoxicants in Palel market area seized and destroyed a huge amount of foreign and country liquor by setting them on fire today. The police team led by OC Palel Anthony Suresh under the supervision of SP Kakching W. Singajit conducted drives in and around Palel market and seized foreign and country liquor as well as articles used in manufacturing of liquor from 10 persons. The police team joined by representatives of various organizations and women organizations set up placed the liquor at Palel police station. The arrested persons were made to pay a total fine of 33,000 rupees to Deputy Superintendent of Excise, Taubal District. With the advancement in information technology, Mahud Director N. Git Kumar launched a website of Nambol Municipal Council, www.nambolmunicipal.gov.in, in Bishnupur district today to ensure smooth functioning of the council. Speaking at the launch, N. Git Kumar said, the website will provide benefits to the people. He said the website will also help in maintaining transparency in the council. An assistant commandant of 87 CRPF battalion, Yenkom Sanjib from Koyatong Palem Lekai, has extended a financial assistance of 60,000 rupees to the family of Kumantem Lintoingamba through Rising Knowledge Club Koyatong. Lintoingamba is one of the eight Manipuri players who are representing India in the upcoming under 17 boys FIFA World Cup. The, the money was handed over to his mother, Kumantem Ongbi Manilema, at her residence at Tangwiban Palem Lekai this morning. Lintoingamba is a midfielder. The Indian team will meet USA in the second league match of Group A at the Jawaharlal Nehru Stadium in New Delhi on October 6. His mother and two elder sisters will witness the match at the stadium. His sisters thanked his coaches and well wishes and wished the eight Manipuri players in the Indian team luck. <laughs> Malam sudah koy jati, sih usah tak koy celi, koy thomali minyak sakti awal. Anu na, lamun anda sudah lebih dari koy kudi muna. Ina awal Nepal sih, Mangol sih bad, koy mai pang na bagi dalam dah. Thong ni biaya naga sih na, mai jagi thong dah, ni aku nak dah pang jenjari. Jah, jah Nepal sih na, itu thong mana bagi dalam dah. Nisat wang, thong mana bagi orang jagi mana korok pada, thong mana bagi orang mai pang na bagi dalam dah. Show dulu pas nak koy jadi. Assistant Commandant of 87 CRPF Battalion, Yenkom Sanjeev, also provided a financial assistance of 30,000 rupees to the family of Boris Tangjam through Rising Knowledge Club Koyatong today. Boris Tangjam is also one of the eight Manipuri players playing in the upcoming Under-17 Boys FIFA World Cup. The money was handed over to his parents at TH Mahesh and Tampasana at their residence at Tangwiban Polem Laikai this morning. Boris Tangjam is a defender. Father of Boris uh, T. H. Mahesh uh, thanked his coaches and well wishes and said they will be indebted for life for all their support and help for their son. Chairman, 
The parents of the Indian captain in the upcoming Under-17 FIFA World Cup, Amarjit Kiam, and midfielder Thanarjam Jackson, and well wishes of Thaubal Kiam, Kiam Shifai, Hauka, and Waito, prayed for the success of eight Manipuri players in the team at Tangjeng today. A hoarding with the pictures of the eight footballers was also erected at Tangjeng by the well wishes. Coalition Against Drugs and Alcohol Kada also wished the eight footballers from Manipur luck at the FIFA Under-17 World Cup 2017 to be held at Jawaharlal Nehru Stadium, New Delhi from October 6 to 28. Now the sports news, uh, Biramangol College beat Manipur University for 2 at the first match of Borchan Singh Memorial Manipur University Inter-College Women's Football Tournament 2017. In the first match played today at Biramangol College ground, Biramangol College's uh, L. Amita netted two goals while T. H. Gitarani and N. Borkaina netted one goal each in the 29th and 31st minutes of the match. Binomala of Manipur University netted two goals for the losing team. The tournament is organized by Birmagol College under the aegis of Manipur University Sports Committee. Birmangol College beat Manipur University for two at the Borchan Singh Memorial University. I beg your pardon. Okay, the 11th edition of Jadonang Memorial Football Tournament 2017, organized by Zelengrong Football Association (ZFA), will commence from November 8 at Thau Sports Complex, Thamuiban. The winner of the tournament will be awarded a cash prize of one lakh rupees along with a trophy, while the runner-up will be awarded fifty thousand rupees and the second runner-up twenty-five thousand rupees along with a trophy. Entry forms will be issued from the 30th of this month at the head office of the club at Kakulong, Pauna Bazar. Thokchom Rosie Chanu, who has been selected to represent India in the upcoming 10th World Karate Championship under 21 category at Santa Cruz in Spain from October 25 to 30 today, requested for, for financial help from the people of the state. During a press meet held at Manipur Press Club, Rosie said she was earlier selected for 2017 Asian Karate Championship held at Kazakhstan, but due to financial constraints, she could not participate. She also said editor of Naharulgi Thaudang, Khoirom Loyalakpa bore all the expenses for the South Asian Karate Championship 2017, which was held at Colombo in Sri Lanka, where she won a silver medal. Rosie, who hails from Patsoi Pat for Makalekai, said that she does not want to miss such a great opportunity in her career as she had missed one already and requested all possible assistance from the people. Tarakshuba World Karate Championship, Cadet Junior and Under 21, Spain, the Bangtoka, the Santa Cruz, the Nif, Town 17, to the selection, Pange, Chat Padakitang, Kudong Cha, the Valavina, Miam, the game, Mateng, Nijari. Now, before we end, let's take a look at the headlines once again. Chief Minister Biren says the centre has suggested state government to explore and develop natural gases found in Manipur. Minister Karam Sham wants to action against those responsible for scarcity of LPG in the state. Manipur observes the 17th Integrity and Solidarity Day. Professor Nabakumar urges people of all communities to face issues in the state together. Inclement weather hits devotees. Unlike the past years, Yang Tang Larimbi Temple witnesses a thin crowd. And Rosie Chanu, who has been selected to represent India in the Tanzig World Karate Championship in Spain, appeals for financial help. <laughs>